Hello, my name's Stephen Roberts and I play George Smith. And I'm Laurie and I play Callum Kane. Why do you think that Callum is so against the docu thing? Well, I think he's very sceptical about the way people act. Because, I mean, when you, when you are being filmed, um, when you know you're being filmed and you say you're doing an interview, you do mm. act differently. <laughs> yeah. A bit like now. Yeah. I'm acting differently. I'm not normally this nice. But, like, yeah. um, you know, you do, you, do act, you do act differently. And I think he's... You're aware when something's watching you, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, like... I think so, yeah. I think you're, even, if, even if you're not necessarily being filmed or if somebody's watching you do something, you, you kind of play up to things. Mm. Like, you, you, as, as Callum puts it in the thing, you're kind of just creating an image of yourself that you'd like to be, but you never will be because it's not really you yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, heightened, idealised, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I think also he's also very sceptical about Dylan's quest for the so-called truth. Like, I think he's... he's He's not happy about the way he's going about it, really. Mm. I don't think in the slightest. There is definitely a ten now, isn't there? That everything we have to live our lives through these social media yeah. networking things. Like, I mean, when I was younger, it used to be MSN. MSN, yeah. I used to come home from school and used to go, go on, on the MSN, yeah, and be on there all night. I can't imagine my life without the internet now. Life is so much quicker, and you ha we have to kind of embrace this online culture because yeah. else you'll get left behind. Like you won't. Indeed, yeah. I think it's how much you embrace it. And I think like now, like we were saying, with this culture of like online almost addiction, I was reading this article the other day where it says that it has turned into an addiction for some people. Like some people can't stop refreshing the page and looking at it. And no, I no no I but but do you know what actually? At, at the week at the weekend my phone completely broke and I had to get a really basic phone that just made calls and texts and I found it really refreshing because I didn't mm. have to look at Facebook or yep. or Twitter or anything like that. I didn't, I didn't, and do you know what? My life was fine. Within the whole realms of the online community, you have to question why you're tweeting at any one time. Yeah. What is it to provoke? Is it to provoke a reaction? So have you experienced any cyberbullying yourself? I think I had one once where it was like, just something homophobic in relation to George, but I didn't get upset by it because yeah. it's, that's there, uh, that's fine. Yeah. But I think that. But is it really fine though? I mean, I well, know no, what you're saying. Well, no, it's not fine. It's not fine actually. It's maybe, actually maybe, not... maybe like I mean, I understand what you're saying. You just brushed it over. But if 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 you'd taken that more to heart, you know, or do you know? Oh, what I, mean? I think I think if you were unlucky enough to get it repeatedly, it would really take its toll on you. I yeah. think it, I think I can't imagine what it was. I think that would be awful. I do I do think though that it's so easy to write a nasty comment. I think that's one of the things with online that it is very much you can get away with a lot more than what you would in real life because you know if somebody said something offensive to me in, in real life I'd you know I'd probably take you would take that person I think as well I think that things can get I think if you sometimes when you write things on sites you the way you say it over in your head is not the way that it's perceived or written. You like, you know, you write something mm. and you, it's meant to sound quite joking. It doesn't come across yeah. that way. I think but that's where it can get misconstrued because if, if I'm talking to you now and you can hear the inclinations in my voice yeah. and stuff. I know when you're being, I know when you're going to be nasty. Nasty or joking, yeah. but you know, online there is none of that. You know, there, it, it's literally just, if you write something that's nasty, nobody, or not nasty, but jokingly, nobody's going to know necessarily if you're joking or not. And I think that everyone's got a responsibility to know that where the line is. That's us, Laurie and Stephen, signing out. Yeah.